This giant Lego pile just came in the mail, and it is all Lego minifigures. But that's not all. The box also included this giant Lego pile here too. Once again, all Lego minifigures. In total, these two boxes right here cost me a whopping $2,500. To say this was a risky purchase is an understatement, because all you could see was the very top layer of Lego, which basically meant everything underneath was a risky gamble. Let's see if that gamble paid off. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe with notifications on, and comment down below what you expect the value of this box to actually be. And later in this video, we're going to be doing a big old giveaway. So let's tear into this thing and find out what we get. But first, I tossed it on the scale here, and it weighs a whopping 8 pounds and 5 ounces of pure minifigure goodness. Okay. Why don't we go ahead and start off with the Tupperware first. Right off the rip, they must have purchased a 501st Battle Pack because we've got these three guys right here. Very nice. We've also got like Cyborg Batman right here. I'm gonna try my best to post all of the prices uh, for the more expensive figures. For like this ice cream cone guy, probably worth like two or three bucks, maybe four. Not really worth looking up. But he did have a lightsaber attached. This is like an action figure lightsaber. Okay. Got a couple more Batman here, actually. There's quite a few Batman, which is pretty nice. I do see a Star Wars figure I can't ignore, and that's going to be this second airborne figure. Probably the first big boy hitter that we're getting. Now, you guys might be wondering why exactly I ended up purchasing this massive lot of minifigures. Uh, well, the primary reason why I purchased this lot was because I needed to restart stock my Lego store dailybricks.com. I sell mystery boxes over there. By the way, I love this caveman Batman. I sell a lot of Lego minifigures over there in mystery boxes. And at the moment, I was kind of running low on a lot of the different minifigures that I need in order to actually sell those products. So I decided, you know what? We're gonna use the profit I made from the store and just buy a giant lot. And this is probably the largest Lego mystery box I have ever purchased in my life. And it is so worth it so far. I'm having so much fun tearing through this thing, man. And we've got a big boy Marvel piece right here. I think this is supposed to be, is it the Vulture from Spider-Man? Although obviously he weirdly had an Ant-Man helmet on, so I'm not entirely sure what's up with that. Another weirder thing in this box here is this like egg with a tentacle coming out of it and a syringe. The only thing I could think of this being is Venom, but I don't know if that's accurate. There's also an egg right here. We've also got ourselves Han Solo in Carbonite right there. That's pretty cool. Okay, here's the progress we have made so far. There's a few clones, few Marvel superheroes, stuff like that, but obviously we haven't really made much of a dent in this entire thing. So why don't we go ahead and do a speed time lapse here, and I'll sort out the Legos on this, separating them between superheroes, Star Wars characters, etc., etc., uh, and that way we can get a better overview of what we're getting, and then we can go over the really good stuff after that. Let's get kicking. All right, the first batch has been really promising, I must say. Uh, we only got a couple more Star Wars figures. We got this Tusken Raider right here, and this black protocol droid thing. I don't even remember what they're called, to be honest. But in terms of Marvel and DC characters, we have been balling out, baby. Probably my favorites are the big Hulk. I know sometimes these guys go for a lot. And then this guy, I think this is supposed to be Carnage. And then like gold suit Spider-Man. That, that's just pretty sick. Ninjago has also been balling out. You've got these two guys who are absolutely dope. One decked out red ninja and then a decked out gold ninja as well. We've also got some crazy beasts for Ninjago, dude. Like, these guys are insane. And there's some units that I'm like, I, I don't know if this is Marvel or Ninjago or, or what, to be honest. There's a few question marks in there. And then we've got our miscellaneous pile over this way. I don't think anything in here is going to be worth anything crazy. We've got Tracer from Overwatch. And then the Pig King from Nani? Angry Birds. Bro, I didn't even remember that Angry Birds was a Lego set, so that's interesting. And we've barely even made a dent in the first box. Also, there's like a bunch of these Spider-Men in a row here, so we'll have to pull all of them out. Let's keep on sorting these guys, because we have a long way to go. Whew, all right, we have even more troops loaded up right here. 
Uh, <laughs> we're making work done, but it's taking a while. Um, we got one more 501st Trooper here. This is the OG Battle Pack version, so they go for like a little bit more than those guys, I would say. We also got, I think this is a First Order chest plate and Yoda without his head. Hopefully we find the head at some point. We also have acquired 12 Spider-Men. 12 of them. They have slight variations to them, but that's impressive. 12 Spider-Men, wow. I found a D.Va from Overwatch there. I bet she's one of the more expensive Overwatch characters because of the waifu tax. A few more other miscellaneous Marvel soldiers there. A few more random Lego Ninjago troops. We also got a Golden Sensei, which is kind of cool. And then I had to start another line of Ninjago troops over this way because we're already starting to fill up the entirety of this base plate. It's, it's getting a bit much. Let's keep on trucking though. Actually, the way I'm gonna approach it for a little bit here is take out all the interesting troops and then put all the rest of them on the base plate and we go through the interesting troops after that one by one just because I wanna make sure that we see all the stuff uh, that is most interesting. So let's do that for a little bit here. So I've picked out a bunch of figs that I think are pretty good. I've also had to go ahead and get a second plate here. This is where we're putting all the Marvel and DC stuff and also the Star Wars stuff now. And there's a king. I've noticed there's more knights, but I just haven't gotten to them yet, so I'll put them aside. We have expanded the Lego Spider-Man army as well, including Spider-Ham, as well as like unclothed Peter Parker right there, and a bunch more Spider-Man, so that's exciting. We've also had a considerable number more of the just sort of assorted random Lego Legos and a lot more Ninjago Legos. Uh, I'm gonna have to look up like what Ninjago Legos are worth anything because I genuinely don't know. I don't really collect Ninjago that much. I think they look cool, but I don't know that much about them. Now, as for minifigures that I think are worth something. First of all, we have another one of these second airborne troopers. This one has different armor. I didn't know they had two separate armor types for these guys, so that's pretty cool. I'm hoping it's not a knockoff. I mean, it's got the it's got the Lego logo on it and stuff, so I think it's real. We've also got a Chewbacca right here. We've got a Rey. We've got episode three Kenobi. The lady from The Mandalorian, I think, who got like banned off the show or whatever. This random dude, old Princess Leia. Here's a pile of miscellaneous Lego Star Wars folk who aren't really worth too much. And one thing that really worries me is a lot of the Lego Star Wars figures are damaged damaged. Like, most of the figures in this lot are not damaged, but then some of the Lego Star Wars ones are. Which makes me think that they might have cherry picked this and taken out all of the good figures. But what gives me hope is that we found figures like these. These guys might save us if we get more of them. I do worry though because a lot of the Lego Star Wars stuff is chipped and stuff like that, and that tends to be the most valuable Lego stuff. We'll just have to wait and see though. We do have Kylo Ren here. I haven't found his helmet yet. I'm hoping it's in here. Uh, and then we also have these guys who I think are from Star Wars. They're either like the Knights of Ren or those pirates from like Solo but I, I can't remember. I think they're Star Wars though. Fairly decent assortment of troopers right here and not all of these guys are damaged, so that's really helpful. Lando Calrissian, Luke, Old Ben, and then actually, uh, I think this is a Yoda Santa, but once again, we're missing the Yoda head, so it's not super worth anything without the Yoda head. I got two of these fat guys. They might be the fat guys that they used in the Jabba's sail barge. I can't tell, they might just be random fat dudes. Some more miscellaneous Star Wars figures and troopers. Again, these miscellaneous ones do usually fetch at least a few bucks, so it's kind of worth it. Lego Conquistador. Here's some various Lego Iron Men. I know some Iron Men are worth a lot of money. I don't know which ones, so I'll probably Google it and display a price for like all of these guys, but hopefully some of these are worth a little something. Here we have the 20 years of Lego Star Wars Luke. I don't know if this is worth anything though. A Black Falcon Knight, this guy's sick. Spider-Man Noir, I think is this guy. And some more miscellaneous Lego Star Wars troopers that I'm hoping to find the helmets of. And here's all those new additions, nice and lined up here for Star Wars, Marvel, and the rest of the lot. Now, we still have the entirety of that box, hasn't been touched, and pretty much half of this box left. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish off sorting this box, and then I'll be back, show you guys the total display thus far, as well as any extra minifigures I think are really good in here and could be worth value, but I think I picked most of them out so far. So, why don't I go ahead and just put them across the board real quick. All right, guys, here's the result. A whole lot more Lego minifigures here and here. 
Holy smokes, baby. I did find an OG Mando in the pile, which is kind of a nice find right there. I don't think I've ever owned one of these. Then there was this TIE Fighter pilot who I was really confused by. So I made a YouTube short about it, asking you guys where this TIE Fighter helmet came from with the skull. And it turns out this is a mismatched figure. This is just a TIE Fighter pilot. The skull comes from another figure who's actually about $25. It's like a resistance fighter. And the hair that this guy has is actually the hair of that same guy, but the body and head are not of that guy. I'm hoping the body will be in the rest of that box right there. So we're gonna go ahead and start looking into that box to see what we can find and we're gonna continue to put down even more figures. Okay, just right off the bat here looking in this, I see some pretty good figures. First of all, we've got ourselves a standard Stormtrooper, pretty nice. Down this way, I notice a Kashyyyk Core Troop right there. Do also have a P1 Clone Wars clone right there. There's a Hagrid over here. Uh, but it looks like the Hagrid had his feet eaten off, so that's not helpful. I've never had a Hagrid in good condition. It's always damaged somehow. I don't understand it. It is like a $20 figure if it's in good condition, so that's a shame. And I'm sure that there's a lot more. Ooh, dirty R2-D2 right there. Tatooine R2. Yeah, I mean, like, there's probably a ton more figs in here. <gasps> Medical droid! The bane of Lord Gonk's existence. He is evil. So, we're gonna go ahead and search through all of this. Once again, sorting it out, and I will reserve all of the really cool, good stuff to show you guys. Let's get back on the hunt. We're about halfway through the second box. And I have to say, I think it's a little bit weaker than the first one. Uh, maybe they put their good stuff in the first one or something like that. Here's sort of the randoms. If you guys spot anything like really good that I'm missing, let me know. I know there's a scout trooper there. He's pretty worn though. They also came with a bunch of knights and stuff, which is awesome um, because I really love medieval armies, so that's pretty sick. Maybe I need to expand that. But here's the really good stuff it came with. First of all, we have a 501st Trooper, the OG body with a 332nd helmet. I know I used to make these quite a bit, and uh, I think <laughs> it certainly caught on. Uh, not that I started it, but back before we actually had a 332nd battle pack, this is what people did. We've also got a 442nd Trooper right here, but with the wrong legs. That's a pretty good fig. This, I believe, is like a Death Trooper or something along those lines, but I'm missing the helmet right now. Hopefully I find it. This Scuba Dude, I know is a DC villain, and I remember seeing something on TikTok about it being actually like a semi-expensive minifig, so... You guys will know. Dagobah Luke, as well as a random Palpatine head. Haven't found his body yet. Got another one of these second airborne troopers. This one doesn't have the pauldron, uh, but that makes three, I think, of these. That's not too bad. We also got one of these uh, clone bomb squad troops. This could be huge right here. I think that this Leia version is worth quite a bit of money. The slave Leia, uh, the OG slave Leia. That's a, I was excited when I found this. Random resistance fighter. We've got ourselves a uh, British Redcoat East Indian Trading Company, maybe something like that. These guys are actually worth a decent bit. They're, they're a little harder to find. I think this is the Penguin. We've got a nearly complete Clone Wars Anakin Skywalker. Nearly complete Indiana Jones. Twi'lek uh, head, I think of Hera. That's kind of cool. Nearly complete Jawa, and then like a Jedi clone mismatch right here. And finally, some resistance Rodian guy. <laughs> Not too bad. Yeah, pretty hodgepodge lot here, but I, I'm excited about some of it. That Some of that stuff could be worth something. So let's keep digging. Hopefully we can finish off some of these troops. All right, guys, that took a while, but I'm just about done sorting everything. Here's some of the good stuff. We have one of Padme's uh, Naboo guards. Actually, we have a second one of those, but I couldn't find his proper head, so he's got a Jawa head right now. We've got a bunch of these mismatched stormtroopers, like the chrome stormtroopers. Two of them are complete. The other two are not so complete, but maybe I can find the rest of their stuff at some point. We've got, like, three-fourths of the Red Army Troopers from Indiana Jones. An original 501st Trooper, complete. That's pretty nice to find. I actually managed to complete Hera here, which is awesome because this is a $20 plus figure. One of the Shadow Guards. C-3PO, 
Yoda. We've got a Harry Potter, and it's one of the like older, but not super old Harry Potters, and some of those are worth something, so I'll have to look this up. Two Gringotts goblins. A whole lot of SpongeBob figs, and some of these SpongeBob figs are worth a lot too, so that's kind of nice. We've got Plo in the house. Although he's pretty damaged. Bellatrix Lestrange, the prisoner. Just a number of rebel troopers here. Nothing special, I don't think. But we do have one of these Geonosis troopers. That is actually fairly special. These guys are nice and rare. A few more superhero characters. A couple Batman. One of the women from Black Panther. I can't remember her name. This dude might be Dumbledore Young. I can't remember. I've never seen Fantastic Beasts, but... This might be him, I gotta look it up. This was really interesting. I think this is a uh, elvish woman's shirt from Lord of the Rings, and some of the Lord of the Rings figures are crazy expensive. So if I could rebuild her, we could be in some money. Commander Gree's helmet, couldn't find Commander Gree anywhere. I think it's just the helmet. And some additional assorted Star Wars troopers right here. Very nice, these are each worth a little bit. So then all in all, here is the second box right here, everything that was in that second box, a ton of these knights, which is awesome, as well as a lot of pirate figures. So they clearly were building some sort of army of pirates and knights, which is kind of cool to see. And then also some good rare random figures, Star Wars figures, stuff like that. So there was some things to find in these lots besides the bulk, which is really, really nice and helps pay for it overall. But even still, I think just at the bulk price, this is well worth the money. Uh, so here is the first part and if you guys see any figures or parts that are like really expensive or interesting or you think are worth me pulling from this pile let me know because that would be kind of cool to do a little follow-up of YouTube shorts and stuff like that although most of this stuff is going to be going into uh, my mystery boxes the stuff that's in pristine condition and is worth a little bit then over here we have all of our Marvel and DC characters and here's the bulk of the Star Wars stuff. I didn't put the new stuff in here. There's also some more medieval stuff back there and of course our Spider-Man lot and some Harry Potter stuff. The middle of the table by the way is an absolute disaster like this this sorting got very complicated. And because I was running out of room here's the third base plate filled to the brim with Lego minifigures and again if you see anything at all that stands out to you as being important or valuable please let me know because I know a lot of important and valuable Lego minifigures out there but there's literally thousands of them tens of thousands of Lego minifigures so it's sometimes kind of difficult to tell all of them in terms of prices. And finally, there's still a huge lot of accessories and additional minifigure parts in here that I haven't all put together yet, but they're mainly just kind of scrap parts. The whole minifigures are already all placed out, but this could be interesting to dive into and see if there's just like any last minute things that are worth a little bit or are kind of interesting. But yeah guys, this was a lot of work for this video, but very fun for me. Alright guys, for today's giveaway, we're going to be giving away two of my custom mystery boxes from dailybricks.com. I've already started to transfer some of these LEGO minifigures over to here, so all you gotta do is comment down below. Do you think this lot was worth it or not? Or what was your favorite thing that you saw in this entire lot. And don't worry, only the clean minifigures make it into my mystery boxes. I try my best to make sure there's no cracks or smudges or anything like that, and if there is, then I give refunds. Huge shout out to all my channel members, you are still on the LEGO Star Wars Attack on Hoth. And especially to Eric Jimenez, who is the most recently joined channel member. If you guys want to join the channel and support these videos, click the join button, either in the link in the description below, or next to the subscribe button. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe with notifications on, and comment down below. I'll see you on the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.